Deep into the frozen wastes of the great Arctic plains, an archaeological expedition searching for prehistoric fossils makes an amazing discovery. A huge monster, as lifelike in appearance as when it roamed the Earth millions of years ago in the Mesozoic Age, is found frozen in the ice in a state of perfect preservation. Constantly handicapped by the hazardous sub-zero elements, the scientists and their band of tireless workers succeed in removing the mammoth creature from the frozen pit. The ice-encased monster is loaded into the hold of a huge freighter equipped with a special refrigeration plant and brought to this country. Here, in a specially constructed wing of the Museum of Natural Science, this awe-inspiring creature is displayed to the public for the first time. say that if the ice were permitted to thaw, there's a possibility the monster might still be alive? Thank you, Professor. Yes, Chief. Lois, there's a new angle on that frozen monster story. Get over to the museum and see what's doing. They've got him in a special refrigerator. Okay, Chief. Oh, Lois, want me to go over there with you? No, thanks. You'd probably faint if you saw the monster. You scare so easily. Maybe she's right, but Superman hasn't fainted yet. And produces the necessary refrigeration. The control board is downstairs. I'll show it. The entire plant is operated from this board. The thermometer must be watched constantly as any rise in temperature might prove dangerous. Boy, what a story! Everybody, step lively, please. Use the nearest exit. Please, folks, keep moving. We have to clear this room at once. That's what he thinks. Police headquarters. Hello, Chief. Send the riot squad. We're in trouble. Give me the city desk. Hurry! Proceed to fifth and men at once. Chief, Lois is in the museum. Better get over there, Kent. Right. This looks like a job for Superman. You'd 
better get back to your office where you'll be safe. I've got some work to do. Yes, sir. And this is the best story in years? Small chance. Courage getting that monster story, Lois. Thanks, but where were you? Me? Oh, I must have fainted. <laughs> 